if the federal government can't cut one cent out of a dollar um, and not bring the economy and uh, the country to its knees, then the government is in awful shape to begin with. Uh, the fact is that um, you're talking about this fiscal year, $42 billion in a $3.6 trillion budget. Let me repeat the $42 billion in a $3.6 trillion budget. I, you know, we've done much harder things in New Jersey in much shorter periods of time and dealt with our budgetary problems. And the federal government should get real about starting to deal with their budgetary problems. The worst thing about sequester, in my view, is that, you know, they're not spending any time talking about entitlement spending, which is where we really need to focus on um, over the long haul um, to make a big difference in terms of our long term fiscal health as a country. And I'm disappointed in that. But, you know, if you stacked, you know, up uh, all the things that disappoint me about Washington, D.C., um, it would be pretty tall. If anybody in this room thinks they understand Washington, D.C., please come on up, stand behind the podium, and you give the answers. Because I don't have the first damn idea of what they're doing down there. So I don't understand it. I don't understand why they haven't fixed it already. It seems to me it should be pretty easy to fix. Real leadership would get this fixed. Get everybody in the room and you fix it. And you don't let them leave until you fix it. That's what real leadership is. Not calling a meeting two hours before the thing's going to hit to have a photo op in the, in the driveway at the White House. That's not real leadership. Fix it. We have big problems in this country to fix, and we're not dealing with it. $42 billion is not a way to go and fix the long-term debt when you're sitting on a $16 trillion debt. So none of this stuff concerns me. The only thing that concerns me is how broken and dysfunctional Washington, D.C. is.